Hey guys, Bearded Beast of Duloc. I want to give you a brief overview tonight of some of my strength training philosophies. These basically apply to lifters in the first several years of training and they it bleeds over into the muscle building realm. You know, strength and strength training and muscle building you know is pretty much the same thing the first several years you're working on building up weaknesses and you know body part strength overall body strength and you know body overall body muscularity so that this bleeds over into the muscle building uh, realm as well but um i guess the uh, the thing i want to touch on is is uh my my core philosophy my core belief and some of you guys have heard me say this before but my core belief is that i want you to get the entire body strong Sometimes, you know, in all the noise that's out there um, in the lifting realm, that concept kind of gets lost these days. And I am not, you know, by any means saying that with all, you know, the, the other strength training programs out there or strength training programs out there are bad in any way. There's just so many of them that sometimes it creates a lot of noise or chatter. And the message of getting strong from head to toe can sometimes get lost. It's, it can, it, it's a foreign concept to many, you know, uh, younger lifters, um, who are after strength. They, they, they'll take a program and you know they'll try to plug in their assistance work and they'll everything's so weakness focused sometimes that we just forget what it means to bring every body part up the par and just get it as strong as possible so that's basically my philosophy on training for strength uh, it's what i did coming up the ranks i trained everything and i wanted everything as strong as possible from calves to quads um, to chest, to triceps, and up to traps. So, you know, that's when I approach programming or when I approach uh, my own workouts, um, I've always approached them from that standpoint, trying to get everything as strong as possible. Uh, these days I do a little bit of a higher frequency work and I don't do a lot of assistance work, you know, for a number of reasons. But, you know, for most of my training days, uh, you know, over 20 years plus, I did, um, I, I focused on getting everything as strong as possible. So if you're a younger lifter and you want to get strong, you know, and you're, those, during those first two to three years, you know, don't, don't just fall into the pit of doing a west side-ish, um, you know, assistance template. And, and guys, please don't take that the wrong way. Um, I, I respect West Side. I'm not ripping on West Side at all. I'm just saying the West Side ish template that floats around out there is like to do chest and then do a back exercise and a tricep exercise and, and whatever. Um, you know, the point I'm trying to make here is, you know, for you younger guys, I want you to try to get everything strong. Your quads, those aren't always focused on um, in in strength training. You know, if they are, it's an afterthought, but don't underestimate the impact that strong quads can have on on your deadlifts and your squats and, you know, and everything else. So, you know, don't ignore things like that. Um, another one, traps. You know, you can never have enough trap strength, in my opinion. Trap strength has helped me immensely with my pulling, and, you know, it, it's a muscle group you don't want to uh, baby, in my opinion. Uh, back, back, back strength is another one that guys kind of do back work, but they now you know you see a lot of guys that really aren't aggressive or fired up about making their their upper back as strong as all get out. So, you know that's another one uh, you know that um, that kind of gets left behind or put on the back burner. Guys, these are just examples. You know, and, and again, the, the overall point is. Um, you know, my training philosophy is get everything as strong as possible from head to toe. Build a big base, build a strong base. Um, have, you know, build everything up as much as you can. And then after those first several years, you know, you can start to see weaknesses develop in areas you need to work on. But guys, don't underestimate getting, uh, getting those quads and that back and those traps and every 
you know, even the calves strong. Get, you know, get excited about getting every muscle in your body as strong as possible. So, guys, if you have any questions or comments regarding this video, please leave them below. And if you have any video suggestions for me, please leave them below, and I'd be glad to help you out and uh, um, run a video on them. And if you found this video helpful, please help me out and share it on your favorite website, Facebook, Twitter, Tumblr, Pinterest, and anything else out there. And guys, as always, please subscribe to the Bearded Beast of Duloc, kids. The Bearded Beast of Duloc wants you to get strong from tippy top of your head to the twinkle twinkle toes and the bottom of your feet, kids. Have a great night, guys.